Hey guys, Simon here and today I want to talk about how to add some points of this box into a group uh, by using a Wopsop uh, and not just a Vex node or something. The reason why I'm doing this video is I found uh, this helpful help example here. Um, there should be a node according to the documentation add point to group in Wop. And um, here there is even an example, uh, example of building point groups in Wopsop. So I load it, uh, get an error, let's see, and then I change into this just created thing. And I go in here and everything is fine. Oh, there's the email about the little um, uh, bug report I made <laughs> just recently. Because in here, when you go in here, then you see that there is this nice add group node and new group and everything is nice and here there's this wopsop so when i go into my network again and create a wop thingy then i don't see this wopsop uh, we see um, point wop and wop network but there's no special wopsop so thanks to sepu from the discord channel um because he told me that yeah this is deprecated so it's not existing anymore and if you use for example the point wop like so and you go in here you will not find when you search for point oh no i uh, sorry for group you will not find the at point um uh, node which is mentioned here at point to group okay and uh, thanks again to sepu who uh, told me that you have to use the set attribute verb now so you use set or get attribute depending on what you want and then you connect the pt num to the first uh, i here this stands for the vertex number no for the for the point number the second one is for the vertex number and then up here you can uh, define the point uh, name uh, no i'm sorry the group name for example Simon? and when we go into our spreadsheet here we will see that it's not yet here because you have to set the attribute class to point group and now we have to set the signature to integer because the point groups here are only working with integers okay so now it appears uh, and everything is fine and just an example how to use this you could say um you compare the point number by a constant for example uh, let's say it must be an integer let's say compared against three and if this point number is bigger than um, than the po current point number then we get a bool value and here you can use a two-way switch and put it into the value here so we assign a value to these point groups now we don't see anything because we have to assign integers, of course. So we have to create another constant, again, integer, for example, one. And I copy and paste this and set this to, oh, no, I'm sorry, it was, of course, this is zero, this is one. And we use these both as inputs for our two way switch. And now, as you can see here in the group, um, as soon as the point number is bigger than three, um, it gets set to uh, uh, zero. And if it's below, then it gets set to uh, one. Maybe we should change this here. It makes more sense. Okay, now you can see if it gets bigger than uh, than three, then yeah, it gets set to one and I can change this value here now and you see that the point numbers are changing all the time, uh, the group uh, assignment basically. Yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, I just wanted to document this issue because uh, yeah, I found the help file not useful in that regard. Thank you. Bye bye.